Welcome to French King Bowling Center, Irving, Massachusetts. Monthly King of the Hill Candle Pins for Cancer fundraiser on Candle for Bowling Network. Let's go, Chris. Paul Grant, Bob Lee. Playoffs about to start now. Eight people bowling for one spot. The top bowler of this group of eight will bowl the number three seed. Then the number two seed, then the number one seed. Bring in Bob Lee. Bob, welcome back. Hey, so unusual format. We're... we're uh... We're we're having a, a big roll off here, and we're gonna we're gonna have eight yeah like Paul just said eight bowlers going four at a time, and I'm gonna try to keep the scores on the sheet for you. It's gonna be real uh, fast and furious, but uh, probably a lot of fun. Maybe you'll see a couple uh, couple big spares, a couple uh, lemon drops. Who knows? One will one that comes out of the school bowl number three seed Jim Nestor. The winner plays number two seed Joe Duda, and the number one no surprise. JB, who won the Agawam oh Kennel Pins for Cancer match. He threw a monster 164 in the third. A couple doubles, I think, in that one. Jason <laughs> like, Goffier Jr., JB. Whoo, whoo. A treat to watch. Well, it'll be good to see him soon. The but, eight uh, ball is Tim Susie, the current king, Tina Buteau, Brandon Martins, Ben Vestal, Tim Hazard, Paul Barnard, Barnard, Austin Valley, Craig Boudry, and Chris Lafrenier. The finals will be a two-string format. Everything else is one string. So uh, we have Craig on lane 16, Paul on lane 15. We've got. Uh, Ben Vesto on lane 14, and it will be uh, Tim. Tim. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Yep. We are live. Okay. Welcome back. <laughs> Playoffs underway here. Candles for Cancer, a 501c3 charity. Candles and Bowlers helping Candles and Bowlers going through cancer, cancer treatments. Do your part by donating via Venmo, CandlePinsForCancer.com, or go to Candlepins number 4 cancercom hit the Venmo link, donate any amount, CandlePinsForCancer.com, a 501c3 charity, only for the Candles and Bowler community and their relatives as well. CandlePinsForCancer.com. Thank you for your generosity. And a great crowd on here today. 50 bowlers, record crowd here. And eight bowlers, we're going to have the camera showing all eight bowlers. We're going to feature lane 13 and 14 on the audio portion. And I'll try to keep track of the score on yep. the side. <laughs> Baldi will give us updates throughout. Ben Vestal on lane 14. Tim Susie on the left on lane 13. Tim, Tim is... getting eight pins. Okay, I don't have him in there. And Tim is the current king also. All right, I'm going to have to expand this thing. Number seven seed today, Ben Vestal, number six seed. He has a triangle, three, five, six. Tim Susi, two, eight, and a ten. One string round, eight bowlers for one spot for the right to bowl number three seed, Jim Nestor, on Candle for Bowling Network, monthly king of the hill. Candle for Cancer fundraiser, special event. And what a shot! Wow! Square! Nice shot! Hey, hold it up! Let's go! Wow! Ten bucks. The best one. Yeah. a good shot. Put the shirt up, okay? Put the shirt up and make another shot, right? Ben Vestal on the crossover. Nine. Leap in for a spare. On the bonus, Susie, the current king. Gets nine. Nineteen through one. A chance for another one. For a spare, bang! 20 to ball through two. One string round, eight balls for one spot. Susie missed it right. Tim from Brattleboro. Paul Grant special, missed the second, make the third at 10. 29 through two. Tina Buteau. 
who was the semifinalist in the Agawam King of the Hill January 15th. Up next, followed by Brandon Martins, a good young bowler. Tim Hazer, veteran bowler, great bowler, pro bowler. After Ben Vestal, who gets a four horseman left, the one, two, four, seven on the spare, 26 through two. And a clip wing eagle for Tim Susi, two, four left, three, six, ten right. Ben from Kingston, New Hampshire, originally Lynn Mass, 32 years old, 108 league bowler, 118 average his best season. Spare! Back to back, 36 in the ball through three, and the object ping. Chops south for two. Susie's open. Susie, a 120 league bowler. His best average for year, 135. He'll get a seven. 36 through three. Tim's high single, 192. High triple, 481. High five, 754. Out of French King Bowling Center here in Irving, Massachusetts. For over 50 years. Been out of Exeter Lanes for 20 years. ex New Hampshire. Shooting Club Sports Bar. Ben, 196 high single, high triple, 437, high five, 695, eight on the spare, 44 through three. Chance for three in a row with a 610. Pro balls convert these 51% of the time without wood. Stats by Canlip and Bowling Network. 13810 for Tim Susie on lane 13. For three in a row, no, hit the object pin, wouldn't carry. Susie, nice bid. He's up the three and the eight. That looked good. Yep, just a little, a little splash wide of the three pin. Real close. Tim, world team championship winner, two-time WNECA Pro Tour victory. Ben Vestal, 10, 54 through four. 10 for Tim Susie, 46 through four. Handicap involved as well. Mm -hmm. so update from Bob Lee. Okay, we, we got Craig uh, Baudry and uh, Paul Bernard are stuck on the lane, on their second box. As uh, lane 16 is frozen, and uh, you can see the red light on your right side of your screen. So, uh, Ben Vestal running away with it. He uh, is going to set a set a pace for everybody else. Looks like four in that first ball. Tim Susie eight, six ten spare chance. And a spare nine to start things off. And to the mark. Look good. The five goes, trying to get to the seven, but not enough on it. Falls in the pit. Good bid. Spare. Wow. Susie delivers in the first and fifth. 56 half plus one. Okay. That's a, so that's 64 total. With, he's getting eight pins. Yep. Vestal 10, 64 half with a handicap. Give Bob Lee the update on the scores. All right. Well, so you can see that as we had Ben at 64 is getting 17 pins. So that's like an 81 half for him. Well, um, like an 81 half. Tim Hazer knows how to deal with an 81 half as well as anyone. Paul Bernard now throwing on lane 13 to your right. He's going to be open. Tim Hazer won a 50-50 raffle to Agawam Bowl on January 15th at Agawam Bowl. King of the Hill fundraiser for Channel for Cancer. He donated it all back for $200. And now, today, he's trying to get to bowl the number three seed. Eight bowls going for one spot, and uh, on the nose, broke up the eagle. Three, right, a good piece of wood to help. So the two, four, seven. Here's Tina Boutot. On the money, strike! Wow, what a shot to start! But the wood won't go. Two, four, seven left. Tina was semi-finalist at the Aglon King of the Hill. On the watch on Cannon Ball, never she was the finals by one pen. Eight for Hazer to start this one string round. Eight bowls for one spot. Jim Nesta waiting to play the winner of this match. All live coverage on Candle Mullen Network. Subscribe free always, no charge. 24 7 coverage. Candle Mullen Network, free on YouTube. Over 500 videos. Executive Bruce of Bob Lee. Hazer, 4 7 10. Won't be easy. Tina Buteau, a 10 pin bowler as well on a strike. One eight six ten right. You see this shot a lot actually. Doesn't go too often, but wood could help. Tina is fifty one years old from Hamden, Mass. Originally Springfield, Mass. He's an eighty one league bowler. Hayes a good try. Leads up to ten. Tina's high single one eleven. High triple two eighty eight. 
out of Aguilon Bowl, Aguilon Mass. And she'll get nine on the strike, leading up the eight. 19 through one. She's, she's getting, getting quite a few pins. Yeah, she's getting 39 pins, so that's gonna that strike is certainly gonna help her cause. Tim Mays at eight, 17 through two. Who took for a spare and strike? No, no, that's, Got it. On that's the back a ten. That's a oh, ten. I missed it. Yeah. I, that's right. That Got ahead of myself. She had nine to strike. Ten blocks. 29. 29 through two. No spares in the third shot, Bob. <laughs> Lost count. What else is new? Right. So Craig Bodry had a spare. He, he had a 44 through his first half. 44 in a ball. Tita Boutot, 1, 3, 6, and 8. Hazard chips off the 3. Look at the 1, 7, 9, 10. Tina, a 10 pin bowl for 40 years. Can't open bowl for just two years. Looks good. Just missed the object pin, the head pin. She had a 300 on November 24th, 2021. And like I said, recently one pin out of the finals at King of the Hill. Jack Long Bowl. Hazard, tough six. Just 23 through three. Need some marks. Tina for a 10. Right on it. Got a good form delivery. It's a 10 pin bowler. Converted the candle pins. 39 through 3, a perfect strength. Very impressed the way she bowled an angle on Bob in January 15th. She's already at 78 through the third, if you think about it with the handicap. That's, she, she's going to be uh, catching right up to bed. <laughs> Tim Hayes at 34 years old, sizzling back. 1, 7, 8, 10, wood to help. From Chickabee Mass, whole life, 120 league bowler. 121 is best year for an average. High yeah. single, 191. Tina, another good ball. 5-9 in the middle. 7-10 ball. And wow, what a shot for there. A little pro magic there. Hayes, a good comeback. 33 to ball through four. Tina for a spare. Not enough on it. 7-10 post. It's hard to get a big kick like that. It's a little slower ball. Tim High Triple 445, High 5 680 out of Canal Lanes. Buteau at 8, Tina 47 through 4. Tim Ball for 30 years, parents were bowlers. Second in the world singles in 2022. You can watch it on Canal from Bowling Network. He's working on a spare in lane 14. Eight bowlers for one spot. Number three ranked next. Seven fill in the spare, 1 9 10. Here's Lafreniere on a spare over on lane 16. He's off camera, but you can see the, you can see the pins. 42 4 for Hayes. A, a lemon drop of Tina. On the bonus there, 24. $1 for Candle for Cancer. Ask Bulls to help on the 4 6 pin. Your first shot. $1 donation optional for Candle Pins for Cancer. And 5 on a spare a strike. The lemon drop pool to help supporting 5 families right now alone. Good second ball. He's up the cluster of three, the two, five, eight. And Hayes are nice out, 10, 50 half. Good recovery. When they're big second half to advance. 80% okay, handicap today. He is only getting eight pins. Peter Boteau, nine. A scratch, 56 half. And with the handicap, she might be in the lead. Yes, I think you can say that safely. At 95. Uh, all right, action on to over on the right. Chris Lafrenier, lane 16, is at 34 through 3. And Austin Valley is at 24 through 3. Only one of these eight balls will advance to the next round. Brandon Martins on lane 31. Tim Susi on lane 14. Brandon Martins. 3 2 matchup, 3 on 2 in the lanes, all single bullets. 3 in one lane, 2 in the other one. All coverage here throughout the finals. Two spring finals coming up on Kenneth Moe Network. They've been stolen. 1 Wiggling, 6 and 10. For Tim Susie. Who had a 56 half, a spare 7 now, make it a 63 half. Brandon Schwartzman left, 1 2 4 7 with the wood spare! Back to back. What a start. 73 and a ball through six. Brandon, good try.
Miranda nine. Tim Susie on the spare. Six, one, three, seven, eight. 79 through six, one swing that round. Eight balls vying for one spot. Ball number three, see Jim Nestor next. Trying to another one, looks good. Two ball on the object pin. He's up to three, seven, eight, would to possibly help. Brandon Martins, he's up to one and three. Chris Lafrenier just uh, posted a 59 for his first half. Austin Valley had a 40. Sushi's open. Martins, 9, 18 through 2. Susie, 9, 88 through 7. Miranda Martins is 24 years old from West Springfield, Mass. 99 league bowler, 103. His best season average, 163 high single, high triple, 375, high five, 516. Out of Agawam Bowl, Agawam, Mass. Jim Feely's house. Blown off and off for 14 years. Gunley Bowl. Tim Susie, 3-7. So he's that word to kick it over. I mean, no, it's for a strike. That looked good. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Wow. That's a bad wow. Eight, nine, ten. Susie for spare. Yes! Wow, what a shot for spare! Outstanding! We're trying. Everybody said they already have two shirts. Get them to Huh? Get them to Nine, three nines in a row. Brandon Martins, 27 through three. Meet some marks. Tim Susie on fire. 98 in the ball through eight. One string elimination. Knockout, I should say. Seven balls will go home. One will stay to ball number three seed, Jim Nestor. On the bonus, crossing over. Six, seven, eight. Three in the five. 106 through eight. Martins off to the left. Four. For another mark, he's got it. What a performance! One sixteen of the ball through nine. Wow! Martin's good ball up with the five. Martin's right on ten. Good pinning. He's some marks. 37 through 4. Tim Susie got a triple strike, Bob Lee, on Kenilton Skins. I hope he won that, that skin box. <laughs> yeah, right, Susie. Red Hot, Tim Susie on lane 14. French King Bowling Center, Irving, Massachusetts. Kenilton's for Cancer fundraising event. Right on the money. 8 9. Hey, go get it. 125 through 9. One for three in a row. Martins slides left, half whistle up to eight. I hate that shot. For another one. He's got it! 135 and a ball in the tenth. Amazing. Brandon overthrew it. 4 1 split. So is he going to bowl? Can Chris Hitch to bowl himself? <laughs> Tim Susie putting on a show here in Irving, Massachusetts. Brand, nice try. That looked good. Disbelief look in his face. Nine, 46 half. Tim Susie on fire. On the spare, half whistler, two. But nothing wrong with a 137 string. And that could put him. Well, he's only getting eight not pins. Not yet, not yet. He's only getting eight pins. So, so 145 scratch. That's right. Tina's getting 39. So Tina could surpass herself. But a fine performance by Tim okay. Susie. She, need, she, needs a, she needs a 50 yeah, half. Yeah, Tina needs a 50 half to catch him. 51 to 50 to, scratch, uh, right? Yeah. Yep. So Tina will probably need a mark. Um, meanwhile, Brendan uh, posted a 46. Look at that delivery she has. Look at that, right in the nose. It's a smooth ball. Give you a little highlight on Tina now. She has a 6'10 wood to help. 
Ben Jaspel triangle, 6 9 10. Without Wood, these go 45% for Pro Bowls. Without Wood, stats by Kenneth Bowling Network. Trudeau for spin, missed it. That hurts. Best hole. Oh, good try. Thought he had it. He's up the nine. And that is a joint for a nine. The scratch score. 65 through 6, 9 to Ben Vestal, 73 through 6. Probably updating us on the scores with the handicap. Eight balls for one spot in the latter series. We'll go the third seed, the next winner will go the two seed, then the one seed, a two string final, all on Kenneth Moore Network. Subscribe free anytime, no charge ever, no credit card required. Kenneth Moore Network, always free on YouTube. Tina Buteau, 1, 2, 4, 7, and 9. Ben Vesto on the nose for strike nine. Kingpin left up the five. From Kingston, New Hampshire, Lynn Mass originally. 32 years old, 108 league bowler, 118 is best ever. Tina chops out the four, leaving the one, two, seven, nine. Vesto for a spare. Yes! 83 and a ball through seven. Eight balls going for one spot. Men's triple, high triple 437, high five 695. Mantino with a seven, 72 through seven. He needs to get the 145. So 146 is the one to beat Tim Susi with the handicap. Tina needs one mark to do that. And she's very capable of doing it, even though she's an 81 bowler. Lost her footing there, and it cost her there. Four two split. Ben half was right, three and nine. It just kills you. On the spare, tough break, eighty five through seven. One in five pro success rate on half Worcester stats by Kenneth Moore Network. The pro bowl is not what? Tina's open, two four ten. That's the one and the six. Right. Vessel's not out of it either. He's at 102 on the toe with, with the handicap. Needs to get to 145. You know, we're going to see what he has here. He's going to have two boxes. Basically, he's going to need a couple 20 boxes or something like that. Team at seven. Vestal field goal. Team at scratch. He's 79 through eight. Ben's 93 through eight. So Bobby, keep us up to date with the handicap uh, on your screen at home. Well, let's see. It would, well, Ben Ben's now at 93. Great. And he needs, he needs 35 in the next two boxes. You know, a couple, couple big spares, a couple big fills. Tina needs one mark. Tina just needs a, really needs a mark and a decent fill. Yep. We got rid of the 9 and the 10. 5 7 with Wood. Best for some marks. Uh, and a tough 2 1 split. got Wood to help. Needs to convert to avoid double strike territory. Tina. 2 4 in the 10. Tina needs Tina. a mark. Can she get it? No, she went too far right. She needed a mark in the 10th. To advance, possibly. Vesto missed it. Okay. Tina, nice pinning, 10. 89 through 9 scratch with the handicap. We'll get that there for Bob in a second. 10, Vesto, 9. 102 through 9 scratch. So Tina definitely is marked. Brandon needs a double strike. Oh, so Tina needs a uh, 19 box to advance. Oh, that looks good, but a tough split. 2 4 5, triangle to 10. Vesta won't get it. Almost stole the strike. Four pin left up. He'll be eliminated. There's only one out of these eight are advancing. We'll play the number three seed, Jim Nestor, next. Buteau missed it. She's eliminated. Good run. Well on our right. Crystal she was the fourth C2. Spare for Vestal. 112 scratch and the ball in the 10th. Tina, excellent bowler on the rise. Seven. 96 scratch string overall. She'll fall short in the 130s. On the bonus, Vestal 
Eight. In the head, 10. Eight. Eight. 120. 120, scratch. Yeah, that's going to give him a 137. 137, he falls short. Eight. Tina Boteau, 128. Short so Tim Susie, 145, in the driver's seat here. Right. Meanwhile, on the, on the right hand side, we've got uh, Chris Lafrenier. Yeah, Chris Lafrenier is finishing up with He's got 97 through 9. He'll be open. And it uh, looks like Austin. Austin Valley is also out of it. So um, Brandon Martins needs some marks here. Hit well. There's some chances. Austin finished with a uh, 86. Tim Hayes with a 50 half. Brandon Martins a 46 half. Nice ball, eight. Six right, five left. Hayes there for a strike, nine. Tap of the seven pin holds up. A good guide for a spare. Should be a slam dunk. Martins, good try. Fireballer. He's up to six. Spare for Hazer. Need that one. 16 a ball through six. He's get to 146 to advance to the final three. Everyone else has been eliminated. Tim Susie, 145 with the handicap, 137 scratch, put on a clinic. Nine for Brandon Martins, 55 to six. Right in the nose, another split, 2.710. Hayes it on the bonus. Looks good. Eight, two, four, spare chance. 51% pro success rate on two and three pinners without wood. Stats by Kenneth Mullen Network. 68 through six. Oh, wow, what a shot for spare. Wow. Randy Martin, 65 and the ball through seven. Hayes it again, a spare. Back to back, 78 and the ball through seven. Both on spares, both need more marks. Update from Bob Lee on this well, match. Let's see. Martin's, Martin's going to need some big ones. Right here. Start right here. On the bonus, thin hit. He'll get six. Hayes up. off to the right, still seven. Not a bad lead. The one, two, seven. Brandon Martin, 72 through seven. Tim Hayes are 85 through seven. We need more marks. Brandon's open with the one and nine. Pays up another one. Missed it. Cross grab that shot. That would have been three in a row. Martins, nine. Pays nine. Brandon Martins, 81 through eight. Tim Hazard, 94 through eight. Two blocks to go in this round of eight. One bowler. Plays Jim Nestor next on Candle from Bowling Network. Candle Pitcher Cancer, 501. C3 Charity Fundraiser, donation any time via Venmo, CandlePinsForCancer.com. Type in CandlePins number 4, Cancer.com, go to the Venmo link, if not. Brandon Martin's in trouble now. Three of that first ball. He's there. Tom's the strike zone. Oh, Spread yeah. eagle. A bullseye shot, an accurate shot, and a 1% pro success rate. Brandon. Won't go. One, three, four, seven left. Hayes, a good try. These are the two, four. Is there a path for these bowlers? No. Uh, Tim Susie has it. Tim Susie is going to advance to play number three seed. Jim Nesky next. Brandon, eight. 89 through nine. Tim Hazer, 10. 104 through nine. Oh, no, all academic Look at that. How about that? Two spread eagles now <laughs> to finish up your game. You need two, you needed a couple strikes and you got a couple spread eagles. There's not a big difference. <laughs> Okay. Disappointing okay. string for Brandon Martins. Just too bad his average 97. It's going, it's going, and almost pulled it off. <laughs> Actually, one more, one more ball to go. Could get his average. And 9, 98 string. Tim Hazer, 10, 114. 
So with the handicap, Tim Susie advances to the final three. Okay. 145, the closest, Austin Valley, 134, uh, Ben Vespa, 137, Austin Valley, 134, scores are on your screens, we'll keep it alive. All right, we'll change the scoreboard, but uh, yeah, it looks like Tim will be going up against uh, number, th number three seed, one of the guys, guys by, right? Yep. All right, so Jim Nestor coming up next. Paul Grant, Bob Lee, on Kennel from Bowling Network, special live presentation of a Kennel Pinscher Cancer fundraiser, the monthly King of the Hill. Bob, great to work with you again. Oh, hey, Paul. <laughs> that was fun, watching eight bowlers trying to keep track of their scores. Only only one advance, of course. I don't know if we made, we didn't make that perfectly clear. That That is the uh, situation. They had over 60 bowlers, so they wanted to, you know, they're paying out the top uh, 10, I believe, today. 11. 11. All 11 so, get paid. Um, you, you know, if you have the prize pools down there, that'd be great. But uh, Tim has just uh, earned the right to face Jim Nestor. Jim Nestor uh, is getting 19 pins. Tim Susi will be getting 8. So I believe that's an 11, 11 pin difference. I'm going to set up the... Uh, the winner of this match plays number 2 seed Joe Duda. The winner faces JB, Jason Gothia Jr., a right. two-string final. Which is for the right to go back and play our king, and our current king is Tim Susi. I don't know how that works. No, they don't do that. No, okay. They don't do that. <laughs> yeah. that okay. No, they don't play the current king. All right. But the current king, Tim Susi, is on to the final three here at French King Bowling Center, Irving, Massachusetts. Ralph Sem's house. Okay. Anyone wants to stand out in front, we can get some business. All right, so Bob Lee set the scoreboard at home. Candace Lloyd, let's talk to you, talk to the viewers earlier. Talk about your aunt and what Candle for Cancer means to you. So, um, yeah, my aunt was diagnosed with ovarian cancer uh, probably mm, maybe three months ago, and she's been doing um, chemo and then surgery, and she has more chemo. Um, and it's she hasn't been able to work as much as she wanted and I know that it's been like a financial burden for her so anything that that comes her way is really really appreciated and I think it's awesome that you guys can help people like with their day to day not just with like medical bills or treatment or whatever but like the day to day stuff is what nobody thinks about and it's really important that that people receive that help you know so if I dollars check out tomorrow she I hope she does well yeah, she will. She's gonna she's gonna kick cancer's butt. And you bowled extra lanes. She was from sports for New Hampshire. That's right. I do. I'm not. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm an okay bowler who has a great time. <laughs> You're gonna be a great bowler, though, right? I will. I will. I'm gonna keep up with it. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks, Candice Wood. <laughs> Thank you. Bob. That's what it's all about. Bowlers helping bowlers going through cancer treatments. Please do your part via Venmo. Candle pins for cancer. Any amount is greatly appreciated. Candle pins for cancer. We're waiting for Jim Nestor to get started in the first round. Hi, Venmo. Meanwhile, meanwhile, I'm setting up uh, the scoreboard. We are in Irving, Massachusetts, near the French King Bridge, French King Bowling Center, and near the French King Hotel. Jim Nestor. Okay, now it's going to just be one bowler at a time here, I believe. I, I think so. I think we were in the right place now, Paul. Yeah, it should be they both at the same time, actually, side by side. At the same time. And don't forget a two string final two rounds from now. So Jim Nestor gets 19, Tim Susi 8, so there's an 11-pin lead to start, and they're going to be bowling one string. So, Bob, oh, wait, and tell us about the history of Candlepin Bowling Network, started their Spread Eagle Productions, <laughs> how, how it got started. Well, uh, it all started with a young man named Bob Lee, who, who loved to watch pro bowlers on TV, but, they, but, the, but the matches that he kept seeing, they, it was mostly the Atlanta Candlepin Single Store, they, they were just... Uh, uh, the, the bowlers would set up a phone. They didn't have an announcer, so we were. Um, those of us at home were trying to watch. If you looked away, you fed the dog or something. You had no idea what was going. You know who was winning. What, or sometimes you lost track of a string. And at the very end, sometimes they'd show the score, and you, uh, you 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 could learn about their form, learn a little bit about them. But 
Um, because I need like an hour of it. Yeah. What, maybe you can go on the, on the adjacent lane. You want to practice box or anything? Yep. Or game, practice game? <laughs> right, practice box, Anyhow, we, uh, uh, I started to uh, look, see, see the uh, announcements. So, you know, coming up at noon in Millis, there's going to be a match, and I, I figured I'd go there in person so I could watch watch the whole thing. I, mean, I had a better chance to keep in track of the score. And when I showed up, there were there, there were the pro bowlers there, and uh, no one else to announce it, just with their cell phone. And uh, after getting to know a few of them, I said, "You guys mind if I just sort of..." talk into the phone and tell people what the score is because I, I imagine that people like me everywhere wanted you know they love watching the game but they wanted to know what the score was they wanted they wanted to follow the action and uh my my real dream was to figure out how to get this scoreboard up so that someone just you know flipping around on the channels could see it and know who was winning what box they were in and uh you know that's what that's what we've accomplished here Anyway, uh, we have over 59 subscribers right now. You can subscribe yeah. free on YouTube, any, no charge, 24/7. Watching any videos, over 500 videos on Channel Football Network. That's right. It, and that's right. We we we're now getting 16,000 um, unique viewers a month watching us on Channel Bowling Network. I, I, and I understand there, there's some huge numbers coming out of uh, TikTok as well. I mean, usually people just spending a few minutes saying, "Oh, cool show. How big are the balls?" You know, but but. Uh, I think the sport, you know, as I look at a lot of the other sports that are getting coverage, this one's more fun to watch. You know, it's certainly more fun to play, but you know, not everyone can play it. But I don't, I don't know why you'd want to watch curling or or uh, cornhole when you can watch Candlepin bowling. I try to call it like a like a teammate, like it's fun, make it fun when you're calling it. I don't even like call it a golf match or you know a tennis match. But I try try to make it fun and uh, entertaining, but. You know, just I put myself in the moment like I'm bowling on the lanes as a teammate, like I'm with my teammate. It's been a lot of fun. And we cover the Friday Night Pro League game of the week on Canlip Bowling Network. We cover the Sunday Once a Month League, King of the Hills, Atlanta Canlip and Singles Tour, Pro Series, so much more. Always available with 500 videos on Canlip and Bowling Network. Friends and family subscribe free on YouTube, Canlip and Bowling Network. Canlip Fits for Cancer. Practice box here first, and then uh, we'll, we'll start our next round. Still practicing. So Jim Nestor, the number three C, got a buy. How do you bowl? We'll get the qualifying scores in just a moment for you, and we'll get ready to start in just a moment. They'll be taking on Red Hot Tim Susi, who had a 137 scratch, 145 handicap score. To win that round of eight, only one ball advanced. The Jim Nestor qualified. Number three with, uh, with number three scratch scores of 118, 118, and 136 for a you know a handicap 429. I think the scratch is uh, 72. That's a 372 scratch for him. You know, and he he's a 106 bowler. That's a pretty nice nice score. Susie, who's the reigning king, qualified. That's how he. That's how he was able to qualify for the uh, the roll off because he was the king. We understand the format here. Yeah, he didn't have to bowl because he, he was the king, so he came in. He automatically qualified. But he did. He did. He did throw in a ball one se through 117, 104, 98. Um, he would. He wouldn't have necessarily qualified. Um, with that 343, but he's in the pool because of uh, because of his being the king. Being the king, that's right. And he showed why on the in that roll off, he seven competitors. Okay, Paul Grant, Bob Lee on Canon Bowling Network. Final rounds of the playoffs here. Canon Pincer Cancer fundraiser. Thanks to Ralph Sem donating a three hundred dollar check to Canon Pincer Cancer. Bowlers helping bowlers going through cancer treatments. Check by five hundred dollars going to Candace Lord's aunt tomorrow. Going through chemo treatments. That's what it's all about. Bowlers helping bowlers going through cancer treatments. Do your part via Vemo anytime, twenty four seven. Candlepins for cancer via Vemo or go to Candlepins number four cancer.com. Follow the links to venue Venmo. Any amount is greatly appreciated. We thank you for your support and your generosity. I wait for the scoreboard to set up here. We're ready to start. The bowl side by side, one string knockout. The winner plays number two seed Joe Duda, and the winner to face number one seed JB Jason Gothard.
All right, Paul, the next ball will be live, and uh, we have confirmed the handicaps with our, with our tournament um, participants and, and, their, uh, and the official score. So Tim Sweezy's getting eight, and Jim Nestor's getting 19. So it's basically an 11-pin lead for Nestor on the right. On the right. Jim Nestor, the horseman plus the eight. Tim Susi at a 145. Handicap score 137 scratch in the elimination round. 7, 8, 6, 10 right. 8, 10 for Jim Nestor. Nice shot. What a try. Only the 7, 10 is still standing though. Thanks, Candace Lloyd. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a great day. Susie, 9. So, update for Bob Lee with the handicap on your screen at home. Yeah. So the 11 pins, Jim Nestor leads 28-17. No blood in the first. It's still an 11 pin lead. First ball of the second coming up on lane 14 for Nestor. Through that 372 scratch. Qualified number three. Comes in. Snaps one into the middle. A lot of spin on that ball, but it didn't stop it. And look at that. Two spread eagles in a row. Work it out. Susie's clips... Clipped on the on the seven pin. Trying to be uh, professional about it. You, you're never never pleased when you hit the middle of the target and you're left with five or six pins standing. Good nine for Nestor. He's at 18 through the second. Jim from North Brookfield, Massachusetts, Richie Worcester, Mass. 106 league bowler, best season 131. So it's a good pinning 10, 19 through 2. So with the handicap, it's 37 27. Jim Nestor on the right, up by 10. And Jim's a 106 average league bowler, 120 though for Tim Susie. So Tim has plenty of time left. Well, it's been 1, 2, 4, 7. Half west of a Tim Susie. Nestor for a spare. Got it! What a shot! That easy! 28 to ball through three. Scratch. Susie, the reigning king of the Hill Champion. 1 5 sent to Worcester. 4 7 left. One string knockout. Tough seven. 26 through three. So with the handicap right now, 47 34. Jim Nestor right up by 13. And he's working on a spare. 199 high single, 468 high triple, 738 high five out of bogey lanes. On the bonus, gets five. A four horseman check mark. 33 through three. Susie, four horseman left, the one, two, four, seven. You better off that two pin standing, Bob. That wood in between the Probably. one and two could get in the way. Yeah, he's going to have to hit on the right Nestor. side. Nestor. Same thing. Four has been left. Yeah, you can't, you can't hit that pocket, I don't think. I oh, hit it. Nice shot. Spare. Oh, Pretty yeah. shot. On the outside of the horseman. That was the way to do it. 36 in the ball through four. Nestor. Move it right away. He's up the one and the four for an eight. 41 through four. So with the handicap right now on the update from Bob Lee. Well... 60 to 44. It looks like a 16 pin lead, but a ball in hand for our reigning king, Tim Susi, on lane 13. Got the single digits. Five, Nestor. Susi looking for hammer. Goes hey, left. Gets not seven. Make it eight. Not a bad lead. Take One and three. Take eight on the fill. Lead 44 in single to four. Digits now. Eight pin lead. 60 52. What's the handicap? Nestor for a spare. This left. One, two, nine. One string elimination. Knockout. Yeah, spare! Back to back! 54 half plus one. 10 for Nestor. 51 half. Come on, Kim. 
And they switch sides. Paul Grant, Bob Lee, French King Bowling Center, Irving, Massachusetts, on Kenneth Moe Never Monthly King of the Hill, a Kenneth Finch for Cancer fundraiser. Do your part by helping Kenneth and Bowlers and their relatives going through cancer treatments. Kenneth Finch for Cancer via Vemo. Go to Vemo, type in Kenneth Finch for Cancer or Kenneth Finch number four, cancer.com. Hit the link to Vemo. Any much. Come on, come on. 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 Second mark of the string, 61 plus 2, through 6, for another one, bang! Oh, oh. Three in a row! Wow. 73 and a ball through 6, wow! Next to the 1986 state champion, Tim Susie, two-time WNECA Pro Tour Championship winner, won for 50 years. Susie. Oh, Nine. Ten. Strike. Strike on Spurn. Wow. 83 through 6. 93 plus 2 through 7. Susie on a strike. Nestor, rather, on a strike. 1, 2, 8. Miss left. Nine the fill. 70 through 6. Susie has regained the lead. Going back and forth. A gentleman shot. Friendly fire. Such a gentleman. 10. 80 through 7. Right. Don't hurt him, Jim. Susie stands with a two pin lead and two balls with two bonus balls. Fifty-five year old at Tim Susie. Still seven. One, two, four. Working a strike. Nestor missed the pocket. One, two, four, nine. For another mark. Oh, too close. On the outside. Out, just missed that pin. Right. It's a ten pin lead now. Susie, nine. One oh one through seven on a strike. Nine, one ten through eight. Nestor, 10, 90 through 8. Two boxes to go. The winner faces number two seed, Joe Duda. And the winner in the two string final, J.B. Gothier. Jason, J.B., Jason Gothier Jr. 118, 109. The lead is 9 for the reigning king, Tim Susie, who was brilliant in that eight person battle for one spot. Get it, in the pocket, a diamond plus the 9. Nasty oh, DeMarc, a chance here. It looked like a strike. They snapped that thing in there. Interesting release for Jim Nestor. Coming, coming out a little bit. You see that as Dave right, Edison. It's, it's a rare rare kind of sideways thing going on. Good bit. Susie, oh. Nestor missed it. Oh. Ouch. We need a mark in the 10th. Nice 10 up the wall. Oh, yeah. And a 9 for Nestor 10. So Susie, 120, scratch through 9. Jim Nesta, 99 through 9. The lead is 10. One box to go. 128, 118 with the handicap. Tim can put it away here. More than likely with a mark. Right in the pocket, strike! Wow, what a shot! Destroyed the pins! 130 plus 2. Nesta, let's do it. That's going to do it. And you get some weird, weird, all weird ways that can work out if you make this. But and no, officially do it. Good run by Jim Nestor. Number three C got the bye. Ball short eight, 107, scratch string, 106 league ball. Gets a fine hand for the crowd. And the reigning king, Tim Susie, has a chance to repeat still. Has to go through two more rounds. All on Kenneth Moore Network. How about Check. two? For double! Oh, two, yeah. Yeah. Had a 137 last round, 140 plus two. Sizzling. For a turkey. Six, seven, eight. A 28 box, 148.
for Tim Soucy. Wow! <laughs> on to the semifinals against number two seed Joe Duda next on Canopin Bowling Network. I got you, Bob. <laughs> for Cancer Fundraiser, a 501c3 charity. Canopin Bowl is helping Canopin Bowlers going through cancer treatments. Do your part via Venmo, Canopins for Cancer, or go to Canopins number four, cancer.com, and follow the QR code to Venmo, Canopins for Cancer, a 501c3 charity, only for the Canopin Bowling community and their family members going through cancer treatments. Back to Bob Lee. Well, uh, I'm just still working on the double strike mark there. <laughs> but uh, Tim Susie, the reigning king, will be getting eight pins in the next matchup. And uh, that's going to that's gonna be against Joe Duda. And then Joe should be warming up right now. Joe? All right, so Judah, Joe Duda is going to be here with Tim Susie. So the handicap's right here, Bob. So a four-pin difference to the handicap. Yep. Is Joe warm? Ready to go. So a semifinal's about to start now. So Joe is getting 12 pins. Tim Susie's getting eight. Yep. So like Bob said, it's a four-pin difference. Jason Gothier Jr., JV, gets seven pins. Next on Candle from Morning Network. That'll be a two-string final. 60 feet of one, 10. Joe drew a clutch ball over the years. Joe Duda from Pittsfield, Mass., his whole life. 115 league ball, a 120 highest average for a season. Has an impressive high single of 201, high triple of 450, high five 677. His homeland's right here, French King Bowling Center, Irving, Massachusetts. His father was a bowler. Joe started bowling 40, over 40 years ago. A two time winner of the Richie Mayer Classic. Best five out of seven championship at Riverwalk Lanes, Amesbury, Mass., multiple league championships. And that 201 high single, he had a four bagger. And it was a perfect game, which is all 10 spares and strikes. When he's not bowling, he enjoys fishing and golf. And the reigning king, Tim Susie, is still alive. He needs to get through this round if he has to defend his title. Paul Grant, Bob Lee, ready to start our semifinals. Well, Paul, you, you do, do so much more preparation. I'm just trying to get, this, get the screen to work okay. out, right? Here we go. Joe Duda, lane 14. Not a bad lead. The one, three, six. On the nose, Susie, nine. $500 for the winner today, 150 for second, 100 for third. Top 11 got paid. For the spare. He's got it. No Duda chance yet. Ten of the ball. A spare to match for Susie. So Joe Duda with a four-pin lead with a handicap, getting 12 pins to Tim Susie's eight, the reigning king, down four. Of course, we're really familiar with Joe from his work uh, going all the way back to the U.S. Invitational, uh, bowling on Bowling Ball Mafia. He was awesome for that. Yeah. He was the only, only Massachusetts resident on that team. In the bonus, comes in on the right side, and the six was the last to fall on that strike. Wow. Winner. 20 through 1, 30 plus 2 through 2 for Joe Duda. Strong start. Trying to throw on the defending champion, Tim Susi, on lane 13. By Kalenpin rule, that Wood must come to a complete stop before you throw the ball. 6 10 right, 7 left. On Kalenpin Bowling Network, always free. Subscribe on YouTube. No credit card required. Kalenpin Bowling Network on YouTube. Over 500 videos. Nice try, almost. 19 attraction, 7 that spare, so 17 through 1. Try and get the 27 through 2. And that is good. Living on the edge. 27 through 2. One string knockout round. The right to play Jason Gothia Jr., JV, to the finals. Next, a two string final. With the handicap, Joe Duda 42, Tim Susie 35. And Joe Duda's got two bonus balls. Look at a double. What goes left as the high low jack, the 1 7 10. 
on the cross of Susie, nine and a half. A little shimmy on the seven. Gotta be careful that wood. Duda, nothing doing. Seven to strike, 37 through two. Spare for Susie. 37 the ball through three. Joe, Joe bowled a 400 to get here. 400 to qualify for Joe Duda. It was a 453 getting 36 pins. I think that's a I think that's a 417. Yep. I'll be updating the scoreboard for you at home watching. Joe Duda, only three. Didn't get the spin in that wood. Susie on the spare, seven. Four, seven, ten. That wood is not going to be easy. You can try to turn it around. You'll have to go tap inside that four pin far left. The fill is seven. Forty four through three. He's down four and a good try. But he's up to seven somehow. But the ten got to go. Funny game. Two to eight. Fifty three. Make that a nine. Fifty-three through four. Nine. But Tim Susie, fifty-three through four. Tied in the string head to head. But it's a four pin lead on the handicap. For Joe Duda. And that's the Matt Susie special to five seven ten. That's a pretty lead. Oh, oh no, strike! Wow, what a shot that was! Randy King, 63 plus two. Thunderous shot. Eight, eight, eight. One in the gutter. One Judah missed it. Right, I get one in the three spin eight. He was trying to snap that five into the ten and hit that wood for the seven for a spare. That would have been something. Matt made that shot without wood. The Sunday monthly COVID last season. Matt Seuss of the reigning ACST Pro Division Championship, not class A. Eight box for Duda, 61 half. Hall Grand Fob lead. French King Bowling Center, Irving Mass, monthly King of the Hill, a Candle Pins for Cancer fundraiser, 501c3 charity. 73 71 with the handicap. Joe Duda leads by two. No marks on the board. Actually, Tim's going to strike right now. Take the lead. Who can need to mark? Hey, we're all tied at the moment with more, one more bonus ball coming. Now, wow! Duda. Really nine. Same spot for a spare. Susie takes the lead right behind the five. Yeah. Missed the train. Scratch 72 half. Duda missed it not by much. Can feel a breeze back here in that one. Susie 10. 82 through six. Duda nine. Same spot. 70 through six scratch. The update from Rob Lee on the total. All right, eight pin lead for Tim Susie. It was that that second ball that he threw there, you know, looking at eight pins after the half Worcester on the strike. That's the difference right now. Susie goes left, one seven nine in the back, six far right. Two to nine, tap of the five. Weevils wobble, but they don't fall down. Well, unless it does now. Two cracks Took another blow, yeah. For a spare. Nice try. That looked good. Wow, you can't believe it. That's a bad wow. Six, nine right, seven left. Connected to the spare. Eighteen a ball through seven. Susie, nine. Ninety one through seven. Ninety-nine, eighty-two. But Joe Duda's on a spare. Can cut at the single digits with a big fill. We'll need at least one more mark with a big fill. Ninety-one, right? Oh yeah, ninety-one. Down seventeen right now. But on a spare. The defending champ, Tim Susie, crossing. Oh, a strike! Oh, punches his fist. Great shot, clutch. He really wants to play. Too. Duda, tough split. The five-seven wood twirling and twirling. On the bad spot. Have to go far right, I would think. On that spare eight. 78 through seven. One spring knockout. The one of the fade 
Chase J.B. Gauthier. And what a try. Couldn't get to the seven. Well, he's at 88 through seven. But, 88 uh, through seven make it. Yep. 88 through yeah. seven. <laughs> and now a nine, 97 through eight. Final two boxes. All right, Bob, what's the situation here? All right. Well, I think it's tied, but uh, Tim Susie's got a ball or two. He's got two balls coming up. Oh, on the nose, eight, five and nine. Duda needs a mark. Chance here, the one, the eight won't be easy, but it's makeable. For a spear and strike, bang! 111 through 8, 121 of the ball, the 9. Duda, oh, right over it. Tough break, that looked great. 9, 106 through 9. Advantage, Tim Susi. Yeah, leading by 11 in the ball now. One to play. We know how that, that, that means uh, strike territory for Joe. Joe's going to need a double more than likely. Mm -hmm. Unless disaster strikes for Tim Susi. Not the way he's throwing the ball. Here's seven. Three, five, six, triangle. 128 through nine. Duda on the nose. Spread eagle. That'll do it. Yep. The defending champ has a chance to defend his title. Two string final coming up next. Oreo Cook, he got the cream in the middle. Left the wafers on the outside. He just, he just threw a 148 a minute ago, and now he's. Uh... He's going to be in the 30s now. Nine. Another fine string. 137. Two to seven. 113 with the final score at the handicap. 145 for Tim Susi. Joe Duda. 125. But and now the Tim Susi, the defending champ, takes on Jason Gauthier Jr., JV next he's, on Canada Promoting Network. Bob Lee. Tim, Tim Susi just threw a 137 on the, in that that game a 148 in his first game. I believe that's uh, was it 285? 285 for the two. You know, just, just for those keeping score at home. Uh, by the way, a few moments ago, uh, JB Gauthier threw his uh, high triple. Is what I heard. I, I heard a rumor of that. In fact, did, did we, we confirm that? Four. Yes. Yes, it is true. Yep. Amazing. I think for a bowler that coming. caliber to throw his high triple. <laughs> He won the Kicking Hill Agawam Bowl January 15th on Candlefield Bowling Network. Can you do it again here at French King Bowling Center, Irving, Mass? This guy is Two real. months later. There it is. So he had a 468 scratch, but he's getting 21. That was a 447. This is a two string final. If there's a tie, a one string roll off, right? Yes, yeah, so if one, one string roll is confirmed, right. if they tie. And that would be something. something. Gothia, so, here, Paul, you can read off Gothia's score. We'll take care of the scoreboard. Please. So, Jason Gothia, 121. First string, 141 second. And a 164 third, a 468 uh, scratch. Quite the numbers. All right, so one pin separates him with a handicap, so it's pretty much even Steven here. Five hundred dollars the winner, one fiftieth the run up. Joe Duda collects one hundred dollars for coming in third. Great job by Jerry Ainsworth today. And Heather Ainsworth and everybody else. Paul and Bernard, everybody helping out here today. Great job. Eric Sim as well. Championship match first of two strings on Candle from Bowling Network, always free on YouTube. One, two, four, ten. Tim Susi, the hope the post. Seven left, four has been right, the one, three, six, ten. JV, two full, four, ten split. They're both two strings. Yep, two string final. Two one split, six, ten right, seven left. Tim Susi, JV a nine. Tim is getting one pin on JB Gothier. He both get a nine. So it's a one pin lead right now with the handicap. 17 16, the defending champ, Tim Susi, leads by one of the first of two strings. 
Jason from Holyoke, Mass. His whole life. Father, great bowler, Jason Gothier Sr. Jason's high overall average right now, 122. His best year ever. 136 for JB. 589 triangle on lane 13 for Tim Susi. JB, spare! 19 the ball through two. Susi, that one got away. JB's high single, 179. High triple was broken today. It was 447. And I believe it was 468 today earlier. Out of Canal Lanes. Eight for Susie. 447 is what he had. Oh, he actually tied it today. That 447 was his high today, okay? Yep, that's today. Today, 447 is high triple. So he always steps up in the Canal Fence for Cancer fundraisers. On the bonus, thin hit, check mark. Five right, two, four, seven left. 25 through two. And the first of two. Susie sizzles eight. Went in between. Kind of in front of the two and the five. JB chops out the four. Susie on the object won't carry. JB bowling his whole life. Semifinals in the 2022 World Singles. Gets an eight. 33 through three. Susie 10. 27 through three. Jason won the. New England Canopins match before. He was number three seed in the 2022 World Singles title. Back in the pocket, a clip wing eagle. It's a spread eagle minus a corner pin. CC, one, three, six in front, the eight in the back left. It's a five pin lead for JB Gothier. So so we, we got confirmation. Since they're bowling two strings, it's going to be two pins total. So two pins total. Yeah, so we might, we'll add that up right, right now. Right, so it's two pins actually with the total overall. So officially, why don't we, just, why don't we just call it this way, Paul? We're going to add it in now. We'll just put it in right now, right there, two. That's it. All right. That's all the hand you get. From now on, we're, we're, we're even on the hand. Jason Cherry's the six. For a seven. 40 through four with a spare six included. Tim Susie, 10. Open so far, 37 through 4. 500 dollars on the line. First of two strings. Kennel Pinch for Cancer. Fundraising event, monthly King of the Hill. A record crowd here today. 50 bowlers. French King Bowling Center, Irving Nass. JB9. Just missed the fourth pin for a strike. Susie just missed right. 1, 2, 9, 10. Not an easy shot. Wood coming to play for JB. Tremendous crowd had a big rate all day. Buying wild shirts, lemon drops, doing the campaigns for cancer. <laughs> Missed it right. Susie, good bid. These are the nine and ten. Difficult leave. JB, the Paul Grant special, missed the second, make the third, a ten, a fifty half. Susie oh, joints no. it for an eight, 45 half. So with the handicap, including two strings, one for each string, for the two string final, 50 47. JB Goth leads the defending champ by three. Both current champs in their own right. Well, actually, in January, JB wanted at Agawan. Jim Susie won it here at French King. JB is a brilliant. Brilliant bowler. He's been. He's been. Every, every time I see him, he seems to have picked up something else on his game. Ralph. Ralph. Nice ball for a strike. Nine. Seven pin for a spare. JV as they switch sides. More seven spare chance. We're going to talk to Ralph Sem before we sign up after this match is over. Right on spare. 55 in the ball through six. Tim Susi spared a match for JV. 16 in the ball through six. After this match, we're going to sign up, and then we're going to come back for a live special interview on Kenneth Bowen and Everett with Hall of Famer and world record holder 245 high single. Mr. Seven strikes in a row, Ralph Sem. Oh, nice oh, oh, strike. Oh. Wow, on spare. JV, the dreaded half, Worcester, two. Ouch. 62 through 6. 
Tim Susie, 65 through 6, 75 plus 2 through 7. Championship match, first to two. Springs. JB open left to right, the 5, 6, 10 on Candleton Bowling Network. Nice out, 9, 71 through 7. Ralph Sun doing three hundred dollars to Kenilton for cancer. Good thanks, for, thanks for your donation. No problem at all. Good cause. Nice to see so many good bowlers. We do double or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get greedy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know. I know. Oh, what a strike! Oh. Strike is good. JB with a strike in the eighth. Eighty-one plus two. Susie's first ball on the strike is six for a spare. Just missed inside. Nine in the fill. 84 through seven. Good pinning. 10. Eight, 94 through eight. The battle continues. The championship match for $500. Irving, Massachusetts. French King Bowling Center. Right now it's 96-81. But JB's on a strike. We'll cut up a single digit. It's more than likely. Susie in the pocket. Seven, two, five, seven. JB crossing over, mixing and matching. Seven for him. Right. Whittling would, five, would six, ten. Possible, Working yeah, a strike. Susie for a spare. Oh, right over the seven. Could knock him down for a landing. Can't believe it. Thought he had it. JB, the broom is out. Captain won't go. The Woolworth discount, 5 and 10. 89 through 8. Susie, 9. 103 through 9. Field goal for JB, 8. 97 through 9. Thrilling finals here. Leads down to single King. digit. 8 pin lead for Tim Susie. Trying to go back to back. As the King. Great job to Jeremy Ainsworth, Heather Ainsworth, and the whole staff here at French King in the Sims as well. Susie forced from right to 1 3 6 10. JV on the nose. For oh. strike nine. Oh. Going, going, going. Still going. It won't go. Square pin for a spare. Susie. Spare. 1 13 of the ball in the 10th. JV gets it back. 107 the ball in the 10. What a match. Two string final. Winding running down here in the first. Eight pin lead for the defending champ, Tim Susie on the right. <laughs> on the crossover, seven, make it eight. JV, seven. 121 for Tim Susie. One fourteen, right? Oh, they're gonna And Jamie is spare seven, one fourteen for a string. Paul Grant Bob Lee, French King Bowling Center, Irving Mass on Kenneth Mullen Network, Kenneth Fincher Cancer Fundraiser, monthly King of the Hill. A great battle here for two King of the Hill champions in two different houses this year. All right, we'll clear that out, but uh, three so three finals. marks for Tim Susie and uh, four for So that Jamie. first spring final score, Bob. That one, is up here. 123, 114. 121, 121. 121, 114. Pins, right? Yep. So 123 is the handicap? Yep. Both with nine drops. So nine pins is the lead. Tim Susie going to the two string final. JV for a spare. Missed it. Wow. Had a clean shot at it. Went for the wood. Susie right on his spare. Ten of the ball to start the final string into the finals. Nine, JB. Frustrated with that shot. Tim Susie is mag magnificent, Bob, during these playoffs. Well, good. just on this ladder, he's, he's thrown uh, 148, 137, 280. Where's the just the last three, it's been 4:22. Yeah, <laughs> his, his official score is telling us. He's just got, he's got, a, he's rolling like, uh, like no one else. 
on the bonus except, three. Except JB with two four forty seven in his qualifier. You know, this is the best. Thirteenth the best. Of Susi. Nice try by JB. At least on the ten. That ten pin is stuck down. They like glue. What a try by Susi. Four seven. One hundred fifty dollars for the runner-up. Five hundred for the winner. JB ten. Nineteen through two. They got a break there. The light fill. Susi 10, 23 through 2. Update with the handicap from Bob Lee. That's 13 pins now for the Brandon King. Tim Susi through 12 of 20 boxes. This is down the stretch here. JB needs some marks. Two marks behind. Cross them over. The hay bale, 31% pro success rate without wood. Stats by Kenneth and Bowling Network. Pin hit on the right. Tim Susi. The cluster of three is the one, two, eight, seven left, six, ten right. JB, nice bid. He's at the six, ten. Oh, wow, what a shot for a spare! The reigning champ delivers. 33 and a ball through three. Masterful shot. JB, nine, 28 through three. Tim Susie in the lead. On a bonus. Yeah, that, that one proves that everything is a spare lead. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't thinking that as a spare ball lead. Evidently it works. JB, if I get up the mark column, takes away the three. That's the six right, four left. Not a bad piece, but not going to be easy, though. Susie, off to the right, five. One, two, four in front, eight behind the two. Ten right corner. 38 to 3 in his final championship string. JB joints it. Ski ball shot. Went up the 50 spot. Susi half puts the 2 8. He's up the 1 4 and the 10. JB 9. 37 through 4. Susi 8. 46 through 4. Update from Bob Lee in the total. 18 pins the difference in the match, 169 to 151. They're going to be switching sides after this fifth box is coming up. Maybe it's a whole approach and then some. Tough leave here again. Susie on a crossover to Diamond. Just a little bit. One in four times he's convert for Pro Bowls. The Wood stats by Kenneth and Bowling Network for Diamonds. What the hell? Here, can you pick it up? He missed left. JB, the 179, getting frustrated. Susie, on the nose, won't go. The wood's coming back. Will it go? It wants to, but it holds up. Stabilize it. The it shock attack with the wood. Holds up the six. Over it stabilizes. JB, nine, nice out. 55 half. Susie, gains the pin at 10. 56 half. Five boxes to go in this championship match. All Grand Bob Lee on Kenneth and Bowling Network. For the 46 half for uh, JB. A 10, 10 pin gainer there in that half. Cancer affects us all. Do your part by donating via Venmo, CandlePinsForCancer.com. A bowler's charity. Kenneth and Bowling helping Kenneth and Bowling going through cancer treatments. Any amount is greatly appreciated. Via Venmo, go to Candlepins for Cancer or Candlepins number 4 cancercom Click the link to Venmo. Bowler's helping bowlers going through cancer treatments. For $30,000 paid out already. Tim Susi, triangle, five, eight, nine, seven left. JB needs some marks. Another split, seven left, six, ten right. And Tim gets a bad break of the wood rolling away. It looked like it was pointed in the right direction if it stayed. And without the wood, he almost pulled it off on the archer pin, seven, eight left. Take your favorite pin. JB needs some marks. Good try. Wood halfway across, lane 13, couldn't get to the 7. Susie 8, 64 through 6, low scoring spring. JB gains 2 with a 10, 56 through 6, 4 bucks to go. We'll talk to the winning bowler before we sign up, and stay tuned after a separate broadcast, a special interview with Hall of Fame and Ralph Sem, right after this match on Camp Bowling Network. Susie, four seven left, six nine ten triangle to the right. JB the dreaded half, what's the two and the eight? 
one in five success rate to throw bowls without wood. Stats again by Cameron from Bowling Network. Susie, try to go two and a three. Give it a ride. Wow, it's coming. Oh, 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 it does go. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. for a spare. Incredible. JB in the hole. Ouch. Tim has been clutch all day long in the playoffs. Did not qualify normally, but the king. That was a pretty complicated lead. <laughs> Gone the round of eight. And what a shot for a spare. Was that the, eight was that the four seven on the left? Or was, in the, in the it was the four the seven, the six nine ten triangle yeah. without wood. Who needs wood? Murray. 74 and a ball through seven. JV eight, 64 through seven. Susie trying to put it away. Five. 89 through seven. JB, one, three, six, ten, four. He needs to mark out. Susie, good ball. He got it! Wow! On fire! Back to back. 89 the ball through eight. JB's open. He's in double strike territory now. Tim looking good for back to back championships. $500. Oh. Paul Grant special missed the second, make the third. Never a good time for that. 10, 74 through 8. Final two boxes, championship match. JB awesome all day as usual. In a big hole now, down 24. And Tim is on and spared at that lead. On the nose, a 1 5 center whistle. Ouch. 91 through 8. JB 4 2 split. He needs a mark and a double strike at 80 chances long. That might not be enough. Susie drops out two. Ugly lead. He's up six. JB needs it. Off the wall. No. Tough break. Couldn't quite get to the seven. Valiant effort. Ball short. Six for Susie. 97 to nine. JB at 10. 84 to nine. One box to go in this championship match. 220, 198, a nine box clinches it for Tim Susie for back to back titles and $500. 50 bowls, a record crowd today. This Kennel Pins for Cancer special live broadcast on Kennel Pins Network. For the dagger, seven, eight, and that'll do it. He defends his title. Tim Susie, back to back, King of the Hill Championship winner at French King Bowling Center, Irving, Massachusetts. A spare! Great crowd on hand, a great applause. 107 the ball, the 10th. A low scoring string, but clutch when you need it to be. JV a spare, 94 the ball. Both on spares. On the bonus, six. Make it seven, maybe. It'll be six, seven, 114. JB6, 100. Tim Susi is a back to back championship king of the hill in Irving, Massachusetts. Final score from Bob Lee. Well, with the handicap, 237 to 214, a 23 pin lead for the king. Congratulations to Tim Susi. He, by the way, he threw a 407 in the first three. Three strings that that, uh, that we had um, on All right. earlier. We're going to talk to Tim right now. Your crown back, sir. The king is here. Let's bring in Ralph Sam here too. Where's Ralph? Ralph, come up here, buddy. After this interview, we're going to sign up to back for a special live broadcast with Ralph Sem. Ralph, the presentation for the two-time back-to-back championship, Tim Susie. Let's give it up for Tim Susie. Hey, nice bowling. Over 400 in the three playoff rounds. Clutch you needed to, to put it away. Great match against a great bowler in J.B. Gauthier. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, I don't know where I found it because I was struggling earlier. and don't know if it was a heads-up match or what, but... Found it, pulled well. It's lucky I didn't run into anyone that was hot. A record crowd, 50 bowlers. You win it, $500. You can buy some more WOW shirts now. Yes, I could. <laughs> <laughs> What's the crowd 
Right. All right, Ralph Sim Ralph Sims gonna crown him. Ralph's gonna crown him. No no thorn, no thorns. All right. Two time champion, Tim Susi, a championship winner for Bob Lee on Paul Grant on Campin Falling Never for Campins for Cancer and Al Johnson. So long for now. Thank you.